Hey everyone, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica and I do makeup videos here on YouTube or any kind of videos. But welcome to my channel. If you would like to know how to achieve this look using the James Charles palette, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Thank you so much. So after I've primed my face today, guess what we're gonna be using? The James Charles palette. I'm super excited to try this palette out. Um, from Sister James, Sister Spectacular, Sister Spooky. <laughs> Every video that I've watched on YouTube says sister whatever. Okay, so let's get started. Oh my god, so freaking pretty. So first we're going to go ahead and start off with this transition shade right, right here. So we're just going to go ahead and take the shade 10% off and apply it all over my lid as well as the crease of my lid. And following that, we're going to be using the shade Code James and apply it also to the crease of my lid and blend it all out to make it look nice and smooth. After that smooth out, we're going to go ahead and use the shade No Beans. And we're really going to focus this on the outer corner of my lid to intensify the look. Um, now I'm going to be using a clean fluffy brush to just make it look blended and no have no harsh lines in there. Because we want a nice blended look. Using the color T with the same brush I was previously using, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the outer corner just to make it look a little bit darker and make it look more intense and a little bit more of a pop of a color so it's not too light. Now also using a nice fat flat brush, I'm sorry, um, I'm using the same brush I used to clean my eyebrows. Um, I grabbed my Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Cotton Candy and I'm just cleaning my cut crease um, this really helps if you have a nice angled flat brush that you can just tap on your lid to go ahead and get a nice clean cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my lid with the color Flashback. And this is just a nice white shade that's going to help intensify this yellow shadow in the shade Tune that I am now applying to the inner corner and the cut crease as well to make it look a little bit more bright and I really like this yellow because it's not super bright but it's a nice banana yellow I really like it back to the shade T I'm gonna grab a little bit more and just blend it out with my cut crease to make it look nice and blended and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some glitter using the shade W IG which spells wig <laughs> and I'm just using a flat brush for this and I'm putting it right in between the yellow and the brown. Now with the shade so good I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the corner of my eye, inner corner of my eye to make it look nice and bright and I'm going to go ahead and finish this look with my Kat Von D eyeliner. I love this eyeliner so much because it actually stays in place and I can achieve a nice winged look. I really like the end of the brush. It's nice and um, soft and very thin so you can either get a nice thick eyeliner or a very thin one depending on what look you're going for. I'm also not going to be applying any falsies because I do have eyelash extensions and I really can't do that but you should also apply your lashes after after you're done with your eyeliner and right here I'm just cleaning up my eyeliner and make it look, making it look nice and sharp so now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation in the shade Dawn by Estee Lauder Double Wear and I'm just using a beauty blender to blend it all out all over my face and my neck for a full coverage look and I'm just going to continue to do this until I'm done. <laughs> After I 
go ahead and blend out my foundation. I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty concealer in the shade Cotton Candy and just highlight under my eyes, my forehead, um, the bottom of my lip, and the sides where I have a little bit more um, darker areas and I really want them to look nice and bright. This um, concealer is really nice. It kind of compares to the Tarte concealer but it's not as drying and it does not leave a creasy look so I pretty much love this concealer so much now using my regular morphe brush and my hula bronzer I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face up I'm not really gonna contour too much today just I'm going for more of a bronzy look and I'm just gonna also apply some bronzer to the sides of my nose to kind of contour it a little bit and of course my big huge forehead that nobody really wants to see so I really want to make that as well as I can because that thing is huge after I go ahead and finish my bronzer I'm gonna go ahead and go with this note a I believe that's how you pronounce it and my Luxie brush and I'm gonna apply some blush and I did receive this blush in my BoxyCharm so I really really like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Cover Effects highlighting drops that I also received in this month's BoxyCharm and I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my face making it look nice and highlighted. Um, it did dry up a little bit on my face and I had to really blend this out to make it look nice and smooth. It was my first time applying it, so maybe that explains why I was not really expecting that. But now, um, I should have done this earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and just slightly set my face under my eyes and make my contour look a little more sharp and the areas where I do get the most oily. Now, using my lip liner by Urban Decay, I'm going to just go ahead and line my lips um, to make them look a lot more fuller. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Kat Von D, I believe, um, lipstick in the color Lolita. I really did not like this lipstick towards the end, so I did change. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you really like this look, then don't forget to go ahead and click like and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.